So, good morning, S Club, and welcome to episode five of... Oh, oh, Tabitha. Tabitha, did we really need that this morning? Oh, oh yes, 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 because I'm so happy, so, well, um, I was about to say I'm really happy this morning, but, but I've just changed my mind. Why, why have you got that shepherd's crook? Why, what, why, what, what does it matter? I don't like shepherd's crooks. They're mean, they're mean. Shepherds use them to, to, to capture the sheep. I don't need a shepherd's crook, do I? I I'm not a bad sheep. No, you're not a bad sheep, well, and it's not for you anyway. Well, it's it's because well, it's you know we're talking about shepherds in our story, well, and we're talking about the good shepherd today. Well, well, what's the good shepherd? Well, the the good shepherd is a good shepherd that looks after their sheep. But I don't need a shepherd. Well, we all we all need a shepherd. We all need someone to look after us. Well, I I don't. I, I'm quite independent on my own. You might think you are, but yes. actually we all need someone to care for us. Huh. Well, let me tell you, a good shepherd doesn't need a crook. Well, how does if he doesn't have a crook, how does the good shepherd get his sheep to wherever he needs them to be? Duh. It's simple. They just call them out by their names. We're not stupid, you know. I didn't think you were stupid, but I thought shepherds needed a shepherd's crook. No! Before I was famous, before I became a celebrity, when I was a lamb, my shepherd used to call us by our names. He knew us all, and we'd follow him wherever, because he loved us, and and even would lie down in the gap in the in the walls of the pen to make sure we were safe from all the wild animals. Wow, I didn't know that at all. So we don't need this shepherd's crook at all. No, put it away. I really don't like seeing them. OK. You don't care for me. You... Of course I care for you. Hmm. Prove it. Well, I know that your favourite food is Brussels sprouts. Yes. And you like ciabatta? You mean kabatti? That's what I said. Uh, but how do you know that? Because I know you quite well. I've been with you quite a long time now, so I know you really well. Oh, well, I, I guess if you know all that, you do. Hmm. Mm. Anyway, today's story is about a good shepherd, and that's why I've got the shepherd's crook, so we can talk about a good shepherd. Oh, well, that's different. Oh! my phone. Uh, excuse me one moment, I've got to take this because all my friends keep ringing me, you see, to make sure I'm OK. Bye! OK, bye Tabitha. So today we think about Jesus, our good shepherd, and how well he knows us and cares for us, and how he's the gate to protect us and to be the way that we are to follow. Jesus was alone with his disciples. He told them of the things to come. The Son of Man will die but rise up three days later. They didn't understand him. What did he say? on that the day Jesus He has risen death is not the end Jesus He has risen to the throne He's coming back to reign One 
day they nailed Christ to a cross outside the city. They crucified him with two thieves. One asked, Lord, please remember me when in your kingdom. All those who trust the Son have eternal life. Hello children, we're still all stuck in our houses and at home but I hope that uh, things are not too bad for you but I am getting a little bit bored I must admit. Today I'm going to read from the Bible and I'm reading John chapter 10 verses 1 to 10. Jesus is telling a parable, a story with a meaning. Jesus said, I am just like a good shepherd who takes care of his flock of sheep. He knows the names of all his sheep. When he calls them, they follow him into the safety of the sheepfold. And when he calls them out, they follow him wherever he goes, because they know and trust him. But if a stranger gets into the sheepfold and calls to the sheep, they refuse to follow, because they do not know the stranger's voice. The gatekeeper only opens the gate for the good shepherd. Thieves and robbers try to break into the fold to steal the sheep. But the shepherd protects them from danger. Well, the people, the people that were listening to Jesus, they still did not understand what he was saying. So he said to them, I am just like the gate of the sheepfold. All those who went before me were thieves and robbers who wanted to lead the sheep astray. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am not like a thief who comes to steal and kill and destroy. 
I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. Jesus said, I came that the sheep might have a full and happy life. A full and happy life. They're words of comfort when a full and happy life is curtailed. This is a reassuring message to have from Jesus at this time. Because remember that Jesus always loves and protects us. May the Lord love and protect you. And if you want to read this story again, remember it's John chapter 10 verses 1 to 10. You read it yourself in your Bible. When you're down and troubled and you need a helping hand and nothing, nothing is going right, close your eyes. 
close your eyes and pray to him and soon he will be there to brighten up even your darkest nights you just call out his name to know, ain't 
Hello, S Club. Hello. Are you there? I've seen Angie and the other Phil talking through the screen. I can't see you. Can you see me? I hope you can. I've been asked to say the prayers with you this week. I don't know where the other Angie is, but at least I can talk to you on my own. I hope you're not too bored. I get a bit bored sometimes. But it's nice to have Jesus to talk to. He's my friend. He's your friend too, you know. You can talk to him any time. Let's talk to him now. Let's say our prayers. Let's put our hands together and say our prayers. Awesome God, you gathered the disciples of Jesus and you gather us here and now. Just like the disciples, we pray. Fill us with your Holy Spirit until we are overflowing. We pray for the people who are homeless, for those who will go to bed hungry, for those who are lonely or afraid. We pray for those who are in pain and for those who cause pain to others. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to go now because I can hear the other Angie coming. I don't want her to know I've been on her computer. Take care, everyone. God bless. See you again soon. Bye.